Julia, luxury goods and the companies that make them have been pretty resilient during the current recession in Europe and globally. Um, but that seems to be changing now. What's going on? Um, yes, it does. So, I mean, China being the biggest culprit, really. So they've been a strong driver of luxury sales over the last few years. Um, the incoming government um, is cracking down on corruption and sort of general flamboyance. So, so now Chinese um, luxury sales are slowing quite rapidly. Um, and that's very apparent in a company such as Richemont, who's, um, whose earnings came out today, um, where it showed a big fall um, in, well, Asia growth had slowed considerably and that's being predominantly led by China. And is that not offset by any improvements anywhere else? I mean, one has a sense that the US generally is picking up um, quite a bit at the moment. Um, it's n not enough to offset the decline in China, but certainly, um, yes, so Richemont today saw that the America's sales were, were quite strong in double digit, um, mainly because of their jewellery brands, so companies such as Cartier. Um, not high-end jewellery, but the sort of anything below that um, did well in the US. Um, but there's also some Asian sales going on in Europe. Um, so 50% of the sales in, um, of Richemont in Western Europe are actually from tourists coming through. Um, so a lot of that's from Asia, but still not enough to offset um, the, this sort of cr cramp down um, in China. And that comes through in the sales figures. So sales overall were up 14% um, for the year, which is down quite considerably from the 28% seen last year. Absolutely. Is it surprising then that Richemont's chairman should be taking, who, who's really steered this group, should be taking a year off at this stage? Well yes, he did announce today that he's going to have a sabbatical um, and it's difficult to say. I mean he stepped down as CEO, uh, as a chief executive um, late last year and he now has two co-CEOs um, working together. So they've been in place for a little bit. Um, I mean he's only stepping away for a year but admittedly at a, diff a difficult time um, they say he'll be on hand, so presumably it won't mean any big changes to management while he's away. Have valuations of luxury goods come down at all? They were very high. Um, yes, they've come down um, quite significantly. So um, Richemont at the moment is now on, a, on about 18 times forward earnings, which, you know, sometimes last year there was the sort of 20, late 20 valuations, so that yes, they have come down quite a bit. Well, it's hardly cheap, but perhaps investors should keep an eye out.